Hi, welcome everyone. So today we are going to be talking about the paragraph formatting in Microsoft Word. All right, so by the end of today, we should be able to know what the indexing is, also that of the sorting, borders, alignment, bullet point, and all of that. So we are going to be starting with the bullet points. So now let's say we are having some lists of stuff okay let's see i'll be having something like um facebook linkedin whatsapp mm. Alright, let's say for instance we're having list of this and we actually want to give this some bullet points that is either numbering or using an icon. Alright, so what we just have to do, remember I told you if you have been following our classes that you highlight first, then you go to where the bullet point is. I'm just going to go there and then I can select whichever one I want. So I'm just going to use this and now this is it. This is how it now looks like. So using bullet points like this is also important and necessary now let's say i want to add some other things in order okay if i just hit this enter button the bullet point actually comes out on its own so i'm just going to add this there so this is how it actually works for that of the all right so talking about the numbering now the number works like this I'm going to highlight it the same way we did for that of the bullet points I'm going to highlight it and click on the numbering and it's like this so when I click here I'm going to find numbers alphabet and the Roman numerals so I can just select any one of my choice so I'm just going to go for the numbering okay I'm going to go for this one now this is it this is how it actually works now let's have some text here we want to talk about that of the alignment. All right, let's see. We're having this. Mm, I just want to bring out some text. All right, let's say we're having this text now. Now, looking at this text, it is actually um, left aligned. Now, how do we know it? Looking at it, we know our right and our left hand. So it is aligned properly at the left, but it is not at that of the right. So this is where the alignment actually comes in. So now let's start with the center align. Now, when you click on this center align or control E after highlighting, it's going to actually arrange this text at the center. Now I click on this. And this is it this is center align now if you watch both the right and the left hand side are equal so that is why it is called the center align so let's see about the right so i'm going to click on the right and if you watch the right is aligned why the left is not so we can actually justify it that is making it completely full by clicking on the justify so i'm just going to hit the justify and it is complete now if you watch from one end to the other it is complete okay now let's continue so all right let's talk about the indents this is what we call the indents this is the decrease indent and this is the increase indent so how does that actually works now let's say we want to have a paragraph here i'm just going to highlight this and i keep clicking on this this is the indent all right so I can also do the same for this or even if I should just put my cursor there it's actually going to work on it okay so it's going to be like this this is the indent and the decrease is going to actually take it back in if you watch this is it so this is how it can actually go so this is for that of the indent the increase indent and the decrease indent okay let's talk about the sorts this is what we call the sorting now we are going to be using the sorting here now if you look at this sorting you see a and you also see z underneath that is you can actually arrange your text alphabetically now when i click on this sorting 
you see it paragraph the type text how do i want it ascending or descending okay let's start with the ascending i'm going to click on this okay and if you watch it is ascending now from f you find you get i l s down to y so we can also click on the ascending and click on this sorry the descending you click on the descending and you hit okay and this is for that of the descending all right so that is for that now talking about the borders the borders how do we use or when do we use the borders so this is when we use it i see our highlight this come to the border click you see so many borders so i'm just going to use all borders i click on this now this is having a border so that is how the border works so i'm going to try it back on this i highlight it come to the border click and i get a border for this one so that is for the borders so now let's talk about the shading this is for the shading to actually give this a color I'm going to give it this orange now this is for the shading now at times i use this shading when i'm trying to actually highlight a text that i want to pass to others that is to pinpoint a particular text that i want them to quickly get notice of for instance now i want them to notice this maybe this line is actually talking about the main point i'm trying to send to them i just have to come here okay let's say i make it red and this is it so this is what we call the shading all right talking about the line and the paragraph spacing which is this it's actually to give you the spacing between each part each lines the spacing between each lines so if i should click on this all right let me control z to go back let me remove all of this all right so if i want the indent on this this paragraph spacing rather i'm just going to highlight this come here and let's say i want it at 1.5 i click it and this is for the paragraph spacing if i want to reduce it i can also do the same thing by highlighting come here and reduce it all right so i think this is all we're going to be taking for the paragraph formatting so i want to see you guys in our next class thank you and stay safe